There we go, got something finally. It wasn't tugging at all, it was just sitting there, whatever it is. Pretty good sized fish. Not tiny. Might be a sucker. This is my night crawler rig. Yeah, it's a nice sucker. Awesome. That's just what I was hoping for on this. I was hoping for one a little bigger in this though. It's like a, I don't know, two and a half pounder or around there. Rough guess. 19, 20 inches, something like that. I was just packing up to move downstream. Cause I didn't get any hits for the last, well I got like one hit in the last two hours maybe. That's a decent sucker though. Really hoping to get one like real fat 23 incher this year, or 24, so I can break the state record. Measure this guy quick, he's probably like 19, 20. Measure him then let him go. I'm just bait fishing with three rods today. Uh, I had two minnows on one and a night crawler on this other one. Yeah, 20 and uh, 20 and an eighth inches. Decent sucker, a little above average. Here, stop rolling around so I can unhook you quick. It's really cold out, so it's hard to. My hands aren't really working. I don't want to really rub them in the dirt though, but oh well. Yeah, not a bad one. Awesome. All right, let's come back in the water. Oh, wow, that water's cold. Ow. Got another fish, another decent one. I switched all three rigs to night crawlers. Um, one sucker hit, another one might, but I'm not sure this is a sucker. Feels like a decent fish though. Yeah, it looks like a walleye, maybe. Yeah, a decent walleye, awesome. Might barely be legal. I'll get my gloves off so I don't get them wet. But uh, yeah, it's it's probably like two days away from December. I think it's Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, it looks like barely 15. Awesome. And uh, and um, I think it's been exactly a year since I started like that that casual bait and lure fishing series thing. Because I remember the first one was Thanksgiving Day last year, I think. Yeah, it's like a 15 and a half incher. Awesome. Nice keeper Thanksgiving walleye. Yeah, so I'm using these, um, you know, just like I always do. I'm using these custom slip sinker rigs today. Two size 18 barrel swivels with a leader that comes off to a, a weight. I ran out of weight, so I just have a bunch of washers on the end there. And then that that leader that that leader that that drop leader that goes to the weight is four pound test, so it breaks off first. And then the leader that goes to the hook, these little size six Aberdeens, is uh, six pound fluoro. And that's basically it. And I have you know minnows and night crawlers to throw on there and try out, see what works. Awesome. Yep, thought that was a hit. Awesome. Another fish on the left pole. Night crawler rig. Decent size. Not enormous, but not not that big. In the middle. Yeah. Dragging on the bottom. Feeling clipping on the rocks there. Yeah, it's a sucker. Nice sucker. Awesome. Well, that's a big one. That's bigger than it, it felt. At least the same size as the last one. Awesome. They're not not that big, but not bad for sure. Getting a little bit fat from eggs. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, they're hard to grab though. Their gills like their gill plates stick pretty good to their body. It's hard to get your fingers in there, and there's nowhere else to grab them really. 
Let's measure them quick here. Around right there, 20 and a half. Just a little bit bigger than the last one. Fat 20 and a half incher. Maybe two and three quarter pounds, something like that. Could be a three pounder, I guess. Between two and three, probably. If it was really fat, it could be a three pounder, probably. But I don't know if it is. Maybe not. Awesome. There's his lips. He really ate it. I don't know if I'm going to get that out. I can try. Stick my finger in there. See if I can pop the hook out. There it is. Awesome. Good to go, buddy. I'll show you to the camera one last time. Cool. Nice thick 20 and a half inch sucker. Above average. There he goes. Awesome. Another fish just by checking the poles. He was just sitting there, whatever it was. It wasn't moving the tip at all. Oh, it's an awesome perch. Nice. Decent, maybe jumbo perch, around 11 inches probably. Right around there. I don't know, I didn't even get a good look at him yet, but... Yeah, ten, uh, a little smaller than that, probably ten and a half. Not really a jumbo, but that's definitely a nice perch. Awesome. Go measure him quick. That's a beauty. Probably around ten and a half, I'd guess. Could be a ten, though. Not that big, but any double digits perch is a nice perch, I think. I don't get really excited until I hit like 13, 14 though. Yeah, he's like 10.7, so almost 11 inches. Awesome. Beautiful fish. go decent walleye around 14 and a half 15 oh. Oh, check quick awesome on the middle pole got a good measurement I know he's close yeah, yeah. no 15 three quarters wow awesome Second decent one of the day. Sunlight. You ready? Yeah, decent walleye again. Oh, a little smaller. Yeah, that's not a legal one. That's like 13, 14. Yeah, just a little guy. Probably a 14 or. Right around there. Can double check. Aim inside the tape measure. Move back to the middle. Yep. Been here all day. About five fish or whatever. Something like that. Yeah, 14 and a half. Little undersized walleye. Let's see if I can. Cut the line, he ate it pretty good. Let him go. Awesome. There he goes. Now this guy was just sitting there. It feels like a decent fish. Yeah. This might be the last fish of the day. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Awesome. Nice 17, 18. Right around there. I'm gonna get my gloves all wet. That's okay. Yeah, probably a 17, I'd guess. I'm unhooked here. There we go. I think this one hit on a minnow. Well, I didn't. I think a minnow. Here, right. 
I want to measure them for the camera. I guess I think it's a 17. Not a bad one. Uh, yeah, 17 and a quarter. Awesome. Hello, beautiful. Nice, decent walleye to end the day. All right, we're done fishing, and it got pretty cold out there. <laughs> Here's my bag full of fish. This is one of those live bag things I use. It's completely frozen solid because it's like it got zero degrees out suddenly because the sunset. Listen, that's so crispy. Fish are frozen solid in there. <laughs> those walleyes. And the bait started to stick to the reel so bad that it would just freeze instantly. When it went to touch the reel and gum up the reel, you know, if it swung into it. Look at the rope. 